I believe the second game started because I see Casper of white on, on the on the right and uh, Nigel shot black on the left. But those guys are talking. I don't know about what the, what are they talking about. So what was the opening? Probably e4. Let me have a look. Let me have the look. What was the opening? So it's game number nine. And I will tell you what was the first move. Yeah, so we have we had e4, e6, d3. Okay. So Uh, what do we have here? Because Prof is going to maneuver what could be the plan for white. Oh, Nigel is looking desperated. You could feel on his face. He's not feeling happy sitting next to Kasparov. I mean, in front of Kasparov. If this one will draw, I believe Kasparov would better let Nigel short make a draw. Yeah, because everybody's feeling bad for, for short. And as I said, uh, Kasparov is into politics now. And, and this kind of attitude, the fact he's still a killer on the chessboard, and you can feel he, he's desperate to beat him eight and a half to one and a half and, and I'm not sure this is the this is the right attitude for, for his new life. So E5 again we're closing up the position. Charles is driving a hair away. It's 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 definitely very humiliating. Not F1. The most of us would lose 10, 10 nil against Kasparov, but I mean, you're number 16 in the world and uh, just get destroyed. It's a bit like if Pete Sampras would come back and we just destroy uh, number 50, 16 in the world, 6 4, 6 2. It would be pretty humiliating. So, Bishop A6 logical because you don't want to keep the, the light squared Bishop. Kasparov can't do anything about this exchange, but still he will drive his pieces to the king side and checkmate Nigel Short with ease. Bishop take, take, and maybe knight e3, okay, queen d3, attacking the rook on a6, and having a look already at h7. c4, pretty surprising, Kasparov surprised as well. Let's have a look to this king. You sure would get you have to, uh, in a million game I'm sure I would get a point out of Kasparov. Because knight e3, knight g4, so now he's driving the pieces on the king side. Not sure how short is planning to do it. So he's going to go a4 and then a3. But what happens after Kasparov just plays himself a3? Yeah, exactly. H how how do you improve that? So we're gonna take take on a3 and go knight a5, knight b3. But I believe you you you're getting checkmated at first. Yeah, different opening uh, all the time. Yeah, Kasparov is, is sacking exchanges. He, he's just feeling so good. It's feeling so easy for him to be short, I guess. You are confident for short. Uh, 
I'm not. This Kasparov showed he's able to to drive pieces against the king. Okay, just took the pawn on a4. Rook b6, queen a4 was played. Going to to have that on the on the screen now. Yeah. Okay, we got that. Is rook b3 playable here to kind of block the queen? Okay, queen c2 coming back. So we'll pawn up for Gary. But Charlie is feeling better in this one because um, for once, at least Kasparov is not sacking everything against him, and he could uh, he could play a game where he he has the upper end, not the upper end, but I mean where he's uh, he's being aggressive for the moment. He sacked the pawn and he can drive some uh, some attack. Hook b8, g4 now. Oh gosh. He's again writing to the king. Okay, you have to sit back a little differently. G4. This is coming again at me. He's he probably sinking. So pawn takes, knight takes g4. Like king h1, hook g1 is coming at me. This is so beautiful. This is so beautiful. This g4 move was really creative. It reminds me of uh, Nakamura's game. Where against the hedgehog, he, he used this king h1 g4 idea. So Shaw is kind of moving his pieces on the queen side, but this is looking so long. This is looking so long just to add to, to stretch a rook. I believe this is a checkmate first. Because after knight b3, I really believe bishop h6 might be played. So queen e8, this is always a bad sign when you play queen e8. So bishop h6 here after pawn takes knight f6 check. I would go bishop h6 here with closed eyes. Yeah, come on, bishop h6. Then you go knight g5 and everything is fallen on the king. Okay, bishop g5 is coming, I can see on the screen. That the bishop is running to g5, yeah, it is. Okay, queen c1. And everything is coming now, the queen goes to f4. I mean, knight f6 is a threat. Yeah, Gary Kasparov is uh, he's having it here. Queen f4 is coming. Yeah, I mean, Queen f4 is on the board. It's not coming, but I mean, I mean, everybody is on the king now. Queen d8 attacking the bishop on on g5. Can you go here, Bishop h6? Now, finally, yes, you can. Yes, you can. The bishop on h6. So now we, you shred bishop g7, king g7, knight f6, check. And this is a checkmate. If you take on h6, I believe you can move like knight g knight takes h6, and it's a checkmate. He's on f7. He's on g8. Uh, what's what's next? Rook e2. Okay, come on. You just take on g7, king e8. Knight two h six now straining queen f seven checkmate in the move. Okay, it's it's happening again. Knight b six, come on, you take this one. King d seven force knight g five. Yeah, come on. Too weak, too slow. Queen e six. He took he took everything on this queen side. Now the king just got away. If you don't blunder this, you just win again. Short being too short. Knight f5. 
So now he's trading the bishop on e7 and he wants to play knight d6. The rook might come to g8 at some point. Oh, he's grabbing a pawn. Okay, he's, he's trying to play for rook b2, rook h2, checkmate. He's going to play for a checkmate on uh, on h2. So now he's giving up the queen. Uh, it can't be right. It can't be right. Just training the pieces, but uh, she's a queen up. Castro is looking at him like, are you serious? Okay, rook g1. Being queen up is uh, is pretty comfortable. After rook h7 here, queen g8 check and queen takes h7, and uh, this is this is game over. This is game over. Oh, Nigel is 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 looking so bad. Thirty two seconds left. You cannot do anything here. It's totally resignable. If you don't trade the rook, the rook is going to g8, and yeah, he resigns.